it's Christmas Day today, but I'm going to work on the setup for New Year. Here I'm making some ice cream and the tool I'm using, I have a video where I show how I make that. I'm going to link for that in the info box below. I'm going to give this ice cream texture all over. I'm using some dark brown clay for making some tiny chocolate chips and I'm just sticking these tiny pieces into the ice cream. Then I roll some dark red clay into a snake and I cut out two small pieces for the cherry that I'm going to put on top of the dessert that I'm making. I break a bamboo skewer so that I have these things sticking up, taking one of them and cut it into small pieces for the stem for the cherry. I use my dessert topping master strawberry cream for making the dessert itself, placing the ice cream on top of it and I start to decorate with all these strawberries, leaves and bananas. Uh, you will find the links for these in the info box below. Then I use the strawberry sauce from Dessert Topping Master as a little sauce on top of the ice cream and a place where I can stick my cherry. I use a green citadel paint for painting the stem of the cherry. Then I take a little glaze and I glaze the fruit and the ice cream. And leave that to dry for a minute or two. I cut a toothpick up in 8 mm sizes and I cut three of them. Then I take the wrapping from an Anton Bell chocolate bar and I use the places here without any text or decorations. I wrap the tiny piece of toothpick into the paper. I'm using a piece of sewing thread to tie the ends together into one of these New Year's uh, things. I don't know what they're called in English. So if you know, please tell me in the comments below.
In the info box below you will find a print sheet where you can print this pattern out. I give it a bit of glaze and then I have this iridescent uh, powder that I'm going to uh, stick into the glaze to make it a bit more shiny. I have this big needle that I'm using when I make candles and I'm going to use the point of this to make this little hollow pointy thing. This is for one of those paper things where you blow in and they roll out and when you stop blowing they fold up back together. Again, I don't know the English word for this, so if you know please tell me in the comments below. I'm gluing all the way down the side on the paper and around the tip and then I glue both parts together and make this tube with the paper. Leave it to dry a bit before you start the next part of it. I started rolling up mine but found out that it's a bit too long so I ended up cutting off a piece of it. But after that I'm rolling it around and I'm using a tiny bit of glue to keep it in place. That is all there is to this little craft. I hope you liked it. Thank you to all of you for following me and watching my videos. This has been a great year and I'm looking forward to the next one. So happy new year for you and see you next year. Happy crafting.